What's going down y'all? It's your boy Willie J. I want to start off this video by saying that I hope everybody is off to a great start in 2018. That you're coming off a fantastic 2017. If you are, that's great. Um, we're going to carry that same energy over in 2017 into 2018. And we're going to accomplish a lot of different things. We're going to share our experiences together. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to throw fits. We're going to do all of that. So I want you guys to come along with uh, this journey with me. And uh, uh, hopefully it'll be a great year for all of us. But jumping right into it, because I'm sure a lot of people are really wondering, you know, what is this video about? Why are you doing this? You know, what are we doing here? What are we doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? So what I'm doing is launching a YouTube channel and also launching a blog and a series called the Willie J Web Series, where I'm going to be covering a variety of topics. Uh, from sports to music to entertainment, uh, what's going on in pop culture uh, and society issues. I probably won't talk about politics and religion too much just because I'm way more interested in the things that I just mentioned and because I'm really passionate about them. I want to share that content with you guys so we can open up a discussion and a dialogue and a forum and really dive into so some of that stuff that I'm really excited about. So that's what this channel is going to be about. I'm also going to be releasing things in regards to music. A lot of people have asked me about that uh, over the years. When are you going to uh, get back uh, to doing music and doing stuff like that? So that's coming in 2018 very shortly within the next uh, couple of months, I want to say. So keep an eye out for that. Also, the website that's in development, dropping clothing and merchandise. And uh, just spreading a movement is what I'm really trying to do. And so having uh, said that, uh, this is a fly squad. Uh, here's part of the clothing and some of the clothing that I've uh, let out to my friends and my family to kind of wear around. Uh, in the back of the shirt you can see there uh, with the music. So that's uh, mainly what I'm trying to do with that. But when you see fly squad, I want you to really think of it as a movement as opposed to just being about music. Because to me, what Fly Squad is and what it stands for is a genetic makeup of people that really are about positivity and inclusiveness and togetherness and that are motivated and that really just want to want to spread that kind of energy and have fun because if we aren't having fun in life then what are we doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? You'll probably see hear me say that a lot uh, along the way too. So, but that's the kind of movement I'm trying to spread and the things that I'm trying to do. And uh, if you don't support the music, I totally get that. But you do support what I'm doing with the movement or you want a shirt or the things like that. Because I'll be making things from, you know, sweatshirts to t-shirts and slides and all that kind of stuff. Then uh, get at me and I'll be sure to give you one. Or if you want to spread your own movement, then you guys let me know, uh, you know, what, what it is that you like to do. So... That's what I'm going to be doing. Feel free to jump in the comments. Tell me what you got going on in 2018. The movements you're trying to spread. Your goals you're trying to reach. What you're trying to get out in your careers and your personal life. So we can share those experiences with each other. And also you'll see all of my links to my social media channels. Feel free to add me or follow me on there. So we can continue this discussion you know, over time and throughout the year. But aside from all that, what I really want to talk about and the main topic of this video is living without fear. Now this is something that I feel is a very strong topic that all of us experience on a daily basis and that is referenced in, a lot in pop culture, in movies, in celebrities. You hear Oprah talk about it a lot. You've heard Will Smith talk about it a lot. And just overcoming that. Uh, and even in cinema you'll see, you know, and, and specifically in the horror genre I feel like, uh, which is one of my favorites, you'll see these dark entities and these demons and all this negativity and the, the central focus of all that and what it feeds off of is fear. So I just want to say that don't be afraid to accomplish your goals in 2018. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to succeed. Don't be afraid of what people are going to have to say about you. Because a lot of this is right. You're afraid of uh, what is my family going to think? What are my friends going to think? How's this going to affect the job that I have right now? And even, you know, the haters, because people are going to hate on you. Or people feel like you shouldn't let everybody know what you're doing because then you have given them 
a reason to stop you or to hate on you. But we're not doing that in 2018. So if you are one of those people, please sit down. Please sip some tea, Kermit the Frog style. Move around. Do whatever you need to do. Because we not we off that. We off that in 2018. And we're trying to uplift each other. And, uh, and you know, be about this togetherness thing. You know, that's essentially the message that we're trying to spread. So don't worry about those people. And what I define as a hater, as opposed to someone who just doesn't like you, is someone who is, is unhappy with your happiness or is hating on you because of where you are in life without knowing what it took for you to get there, right? Because that's the real part of this. People hate on someone that's successful without having witnessed or been through what they had to, to do and to go through to get there. That's kind of the duality of it is the fear of failure and, and kind of the perception of what people are going to think. And then it's also the fear of success. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, why would I be afraid to succeed? Why do I be afraid of having everything I want and people patting me on the back and getting all these awards and accolades or whatever? And mainly it's because if the devil feels like he can't stop you, then he's going to feed your vices and the things that he knows that you want the most to try to destroy you. Whether that's drinking or smoking or women or what have you. But you overcome all that by being motivated for the right reasons. And so my motivation is to better the people around me and to support my family and my friends and for all of us to be able to make it and enjoy all of this potential potential success together. But you've got to have hope. And I'm going to say this again for the people who didn't hear me say it the first time. you got to have hope. You know, I never thought I'd see the day that old Ray Gibson give up hope. Never thought I'd... Say what now? I said, I never... Thought I hear the day that old Ray Gibson give, give up. Give a hope. That's what I thought, nigga. I ain't give up no motherfucking hope. I'm being keeping it real, like them niggas say, keep it real. That's real. Ain't nobody give up nothing. Because off the building blocks of hope are all the things that you need and all of the positive characteristics that lead to success. You believe that you can do it. You have the motivation, and you start to put yourself on a path to where if you don't get something immediately, you figure out the milestones of what do I need to do, what resources is it going to take, who, who are my connections I can help reach out to to help me accomplish this thing and don't feel like you have to do it yourself because you really do need a team. If not a team of what you're doing in, in your particular field, you need a team of people who are going to support you and all the things that you want to do. So that's what I feel like I want to share with you guys. Feel free, again, jump in the comments, tell me you know, how, what are your viewpoints on fear, what has kind of stopped you from reaching your goals and things like that, so we can talk about it. And, you know, stay motivated. Uh, a lot of people have different motivators for things in life, whether it's money or a specific position, and things like that, but find something you're passionate about that you're able to get up and be excited about from day to day, because that's how we really make it. That's how we establish uh, consistency and through what the things that we do and consistency leads to longevity and longevity leads to a legacy which is something that we're all trying to leave what do you want your legacy to be I'm gonna be telling you guys and showing you what I want mine to be and we continue to have this conversation and hopefully grow together so uh, thank you everybody and everybody that uh, that watched this video still very new at this trying to figure a lot of things out but you have to start somewhere so I'm sure a lot of people are gonna hate on me and be like you see what he's trying to do and what is this video about he's looking dusty and dirty and video in this from his bedroom and stuff like that ain't nobody got time for that but you have to start somewhere you know Rome wasn't built in a day you can't just start working out two days and get six packs and build muscle and stuff right so you gotta start somewhere, but it's also but it's about self improvement and and bringing better quality and finding out what people really like or interested in and building audience building an audience off of that. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and uh, I look forward to talking a lot more with you guys. So I'm not sure how the the period in between I'll be dropping uh, these type of videos because I, as I alluded to earlier, I will be dropping uh, music and freestyles and other content. So I'm not sure how 
how often I'll drop the blog. Or, uh, but I'll try to keep them within a reasonable time limit for you guys so you can enjoy it. And, uh, and you know, until next time, I appreciate you guys. Uh, one love. Peace. <laughs>